drop the beat. A A Teen Speak. Hello, guys. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Teen Speak. My name is Dawson Bailey, and this is Coach Taylor. This is he. That's awkward. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Doing Good. well. That's awesome. I'm not going to ask how I'm doing. Dawson, are you doing well? I am doing well. Thank you. I didn't really me. ask you how you're doing. I just assumed you're doing well. You're always smiling. So not if you're doing, here's the reality about Dawson. He's a compulsive liar. So therefore, he's not even going to tell you the not truth. A comp- <laughs> he would just he would just lie and say he's doing well, even if he's doing terribly. Dawson's the guy that would literally be standing on a boat that's sinking and like, oh no, it's all right, guys. Y'all don't it's have right, to worry guys. about we can me. Make, we can make it. And he can't even swim. So <laughs> he'd be like, don't worry about me. It's okay. I can't. I just, Let's change the subject. Let's, yeah, let's hey, change let's, the let's subject. Let's get into this episode of, of Teen Speak. Comment down okay? below if you'd like to see Dawson and some floaties. No. Let us know. <laughs> don't comment. You don't, you don't have to. I'm going to take a picture. Um, I hate to change the subject. <laughs> Darn. But uh, verse 27 today. We're, up, we're at Hebrews 11, verse 27. And we're looking at a, the amazing story of Moses mm-hmm. in these past couple episodes. So uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> verse 27 says, By faith he forsook Egypt not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. That's a very... So, before we get into anything, uh, let, let's let's think this through for a second. What is a king? Back then... Well, back then, and uh, I'm glad you asked. I'm actually teaching 7th and 8th grade world history, if you're watching. Hey. Good for you, right? You're welcome, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I was like, I told Miss Jackie, it's weird. At the beginning, I was like, I will teach any class you want me to besides English and history. Two classes I I can't stand. I love English. But you want to know something very, very strange? My favorite class I'm teaching right now is 7th and 8th grade world history. World history? World history. I can do U.S. history. I don't like world history, though. Oh, no, it's so interesting. I actually like world history. I don't like... Learning it, I guess. I didn't like being taught oh. world history. <laughs> that but I like sense. teaching it. It's fun. That it gives me. Sense. Well, I think I think the reason I love it so much, or I, I, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, uh, is because when you study world history, you can really see how God just worked in and out of different empires, and, yeah. and He would raise up an empire, and then an empire would fall, and He would yeah, use true. an empire for a reason, and then an empire would fall. And it makes me uh, remember and keeps me rooted in today, remembering that, you know, God is, he's in control. Even though it seems like it's all going crazy and, you know, politics, everyone's all over the place Mm -hmm. on it. Who you vote for, uh, COVID or no COVID, is it fake? Is it real? Should you mask? Should you not mask? Should you get 50 vaccines or just two or zero? Uh, I mean, people are going crazy over this and it just reminds me. That throughout history, God's always had his hand in it. So That's true. Uh, That's kind of... I don't think it's going to change. Uh, no. So, uh, I think but, that, that kind of goes well with this verse, actually. Yeah, and it goes... And, and this is the... That's where I wanted to go with this, really. From what I, I see here, Moses had to deci- had a decision he had to make, and the decision had to be by faith, and he had to choose whether he was serving God wow. or the government. That's true. And, you know, but, listen, right now, like I've said before, in America, we live in a land where uh, we do have some form of religious liberty. I still want to claim that we do. Yeah. Uh, but there will come a point in time when the government will tell us no. And if you don't believe me, look at countries such as, uh, it's unfortunate reading what's happening in the Middle East and Afghanistan and all of those locations, Cabal and stuff like that. It's, it's sad because now they're being told, hey, if you if you worship God, uh, and, and you try to tell others about God, we'll just kill you. And, and I saw a video, it was so sad, of a man uh, being hung from a helicopter and flown mm-hmm. around the city. Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's sad, and it's, it's a decision that's very, uh, I mean, it's not one that can be made lightly, you know. It's easy to say, you know what, I would die for Christ, I would die for uh, God, and, and I really believe I would, and I don't want to say that I wouldn't. But, you know, then you look at Peter, who said the same thing. Oh, you know, yeah. Peter even drew the sword and cut a man's ear off. But uh, when it came time, he denied him three times. So it's not really, it, it's a decision that, it's one of those things, it's much easier to say it than Didn't it probably it. is to do it. Because yeah. 
like I said, there's a lot of people that say, hey, I would I would easily give my life. But then when the situation comes, that that's when the decision's made. It's not made when you, uh, yeah. when you say it. And, and it makes me uh, think, what, what will we do in this situation with the government? And, and it's not just in the Middle East. It's in China. China, you're not allowed to uh, worship God. Uh, you're you're not supposed to have church services, so people have to do it underground and uh, hope that they don't get caught. And if they get caught, they can get arrested and uh, get different punishments for it. And it makes me uh, think that uh, this is a time, if any time is more appropriate, then today is the day when we really need to be bold uh, and stand uh, with God, regardless of what the government tries to tell us. Yep, I agree. I agree. Wow. So, so let me ask you, Dawson, I want to get your thought on this. How do you think these decisions are made? Let, let's make it modern day. So in Moses, for uh, transparency before we make an application, Moses' situation was Israelites were slaves to Egypt, and he could have chosen. We talked about it in the last episode. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it. Uh, but he had a decision to serve, uh, to stay with Pharaoh or to go with the Israelites, his people, and he ultimately chose. And then he had another decision. Does he obey God uh, and do what God's called him to do, or does he, because of the fear of Pharaoh, allow Pharaoh to uh, rule and dictate his lives? So with that being said, uh, the government is always a scary thing uh, for people because uh, yes. people don't naturally don't want to be controlled by any form. Uh, so... Uh, let me ask you, Dawson, how could you see in the coming years persecution coming for Christians? Mm. What are some ways you think it may happen? Well, uh, well, it, it can go a lot of ways, to be honest. I, I mean, I, I feel like um, this country, I mean, I'm honored and, and I'm, I'm proud of this country and, I, and I'm happy that we, we have that sense of freedom mm -hmm. in this country. But if there's ever a case where all of a sudden we, we don't feel like we're free anymore— like we don't have any experience of being in a country with no freedom. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, seeing it like that, I would have no clue what to do. Yeah. See, I see it, um, and I think we've seen parts of it, and I think that it could get worse. I think so. Ways you could see it is, um, like in California, uh, the threat of you getting shut down mm -hmm. or, um, getting fined if you don't close your church doors. I I could see the threat of. Uh, churches losing their tax exempt, which is something that has been there since the founding fathers. Uh, I could see us losing tax exemption, you know, uh, and stuff like that because of your religious beliefs. I could see uh, churches getting in trouble or pastors being persecuted. Uh, Christian businesses, this already happens. I could see Christian businesses getting sued because you won't do um, a wedding cake for. A homosexual a marriage. Homosexual so marriage. I think right. we already see parts of it starting. And listen, young people, you, you really have to dedicate in your heart what you're going to do because right now it's easy to say it, but when the, when the time comes, you're really going to have to choose, am I going to stand for God or am I going to allow the government to overrule what God has told me to do? Mm. So yeah, it's a good uh, message here. Moses had faith in God. He feared the invisible rather than Pharaoh. He, he feared God, who he hadn't seen more than Pharaoh. That's so a good example. It's a good, uh, good thought there for us. So uh, that's towards the end of the episode. I, I had a thought, Dawson. Here will be my question for commenters. Uh, if you don't like Star Wars, then I guess you can just go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, leave a heart, letting us know that you don't like Star Wars. Well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll pray that God saves your soul. Yeah. So... Anyway, Dawson, question for you. Who is your favorite, uh, and question for the commenters as well, of course, who is your favorite Star Wars hero and your favorite Star Wars villain? Ooh. Oh, my. Well, well is, is he considered a hero or a villain? I'd say he'd be considered more villain. I'd say my favorite villain would have to be Boba Fett. Yeah, I would consider him dark side. Yeah. I would consider him dark side too. Boba mm -hmm. Fett, I've always loved Boba Fett. Um, I think he's always been such a mysterious mm -hmm. character that we've okay. never really digged into or done research. I absolutely love the character. Then who's your favorite light side hero? Probably gonna be Luke Skywalker. Luke? I've always loved Luke Skywalker. I've always now, loved Now do you like Rebel Luke, Commander Luke? 
Oh, I'm a Jedi. Jedi, Jedi. Return of the Jedi, Luke, yeah. Oh, uh, Jedi Master Luke? With, oh, yeah. Black outfit, green lightsaber. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, yes. Awesome. Well, mine was one of those that he was good and evil, uh, but I'll put him in the villain category. My favorite villain is Darth Revan. Oh, I like Darth Revan. Ooh, yes. uh, reading some of the lore and watching some of the videos. Yeah, love Darth cool. Revan. He is very um, cool. Revan's really cool, too. And then my favorite light side hero would probably be, hmm. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, Dar- Jar Jar Binks is the actual Sith Lord oh, over the whole thing, right? My, you no, don't I'm get us kidding. started in the No, that, but right? um, my favorite light side hero, that's actually pretty tough. I would say, I don't know. Obi Wan's always a good one. Uh, I like Ahsoka Tano, though. Yeah. She's probably one of my favorite so, light side heroes. Our, so. the, our computer guy in the back, he's. Jeremy. He loves Ahsoka. Jeremy loves. But he also loves Obi Wan. So I, I don't know who he would pick. And that's a tough one for him. That is. So, that's a tough one. Uh, but wow. comment down below if you have one. Tell us your favorite dark side and your favorite light side hero. Don't forget uh, either of them. And if you have to, an unaligned force user, right? Shout out Mando. He's an unaligned force user, right? <laughs> So dumb. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this episode of Teen Speak. For Dawson, I'm Zach. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode, and we're out.